trying to defeat them okay. is much harder. And that's but the whole Ben, point. you have to stop imprisoning them. What, look, Ben, if, if people come over, let's say they take, uh, name any place, they take New Jersey, they take Texas, and they say, okay, now you're in an open air prison and none of you have any goddamn rights, and we get to put our boot on your neck, and now you go, you are servants. You're, you're subhuman. Now you sit there, Texas, and take it. And if any of you ever fight back, you're all goddamn terrorists in Texas. And what do you think Texas would do? Texas would blow up, those Texas citizens would blow up every goddamn occupier, and you know it. Nobody. They would murder every occupier, and you know it. Great. How much patience can the Palestinians have? They're sitting there Just in the West Bank doing nothing. They've been perfectly peaceful. Just and peace. what did they get for the peace, Just Ben? Peace. What did they get for the peace? Just all peace. they got was occupation. Just 56 years enough. of occupation. They've been offered peace six years. Time. My ass. So when you keep somebody okay. in a prison, as you say, what do you mean my ass? They have not been? Yes, they were I will not explain, in, I will in, explain, in, in, in I will 37, explain. 37, 48, 67, 2000, 2008, they weren't offered their no. own state? And that they said no, 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 no. So yes, no. if murderers no. and terrorists are going to keep killing you and you keep saying, here, I'm giving, you, I'm giving you what you want. I'm giving you most of what you want. And you keep saying no, 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 no. Okay. Nobody on can earth, I yourself can included, I, can I would also it? allow themselves to keep being can killed by them. Okay, so number one, 1937. At that point, Israel doesn't even exist. A bunch of people come over to Palestine and go, now you guys, this is your land, but we're planning to take half of it. So why don't you just give us half? And move, God, move out of your freaking houses. We own that land now. Oh, you didn't take it. Well, what a bunch of bad guys. I was gonna take your goddamn land and I was gonna make you march and then maybe die. Oh, you didn't take what generous offer that I gave you? 1948, I'm gonna take half your land. Give me your land, you, you can stay, you get the hell out of here. I'm more important than you. Oh, you don't own your land anymore. Well, you didn't take it. Why didn't you take it? What a lovely deal I gave you where I only steal half your land. Okay, now you move to later rounds, then it gets more complicated. Because then they come back in and they go, I'll give you 87% of your house back. But I had 100% of my house. And by the way, you're not even giving me the 50% you already took. You're giving me 87% of the other 50%. So there's no solution Okay, forever. hold on, hold on. But at the same time, well, do I wish 87%, 83, 97, whatever the goddamn number was that both sides took it? Yes, I wish they both took it. And I wish Israel made a better offer and I wish the Palestinians took a bad offer. So that's I, the solution so, then? Yes, ex exactly. Right? But at this point, both Obama and Trump have said, Netanyahu doesn't want peace. He hasn't offered peace, he doesn't want peace, he wants permanent occupation. So for God's sake, fire Netanyahu. If it's a democracy, fire him. Because if you don't fire him, you're saying, yeah, I like what he's doing. I, we're gonna occupy these poor people forever. In West Bank, there's no violence except by the settlers. On that, I still, totally agree. But they're On still that, occupied. Totally agree. But they're still occupied the Israel, because they like it. They like the occupying that. were trying to remove Netanyahu and then there was a horrific terrorist attack. They and brought him back like four times. Yeah, Look, yeah I, he's, he's, not, he's not a partner for peace. I agree with that 100%. He was funding Hamas to help make sure there was not peace that happens. That is true. But now we're in a reality that is now very hard to unwind unless some concrete solution is offered. Not just simply at telling one side, we know the other side is terrorists and so we have borders. to just give it in. No, don't give it. 67 borders and the occupation. Occupation is a core evil. And if you don't end the occupation, I would do it unilaterally. Here, 67 borders, good luck. You guys are sovereign now, you can have your own police, military, do whatever you like. You cross over and then we come and obliterate you, okay? But they made a peace deal with Egypt, do a peace deal. It's not that complicated, Israel. You have got to let him go. We all want to go to Israel. We want Israel to be a beautiful, safe place filled with loving people, which it, it, which it is. But we can't go and we can't root for you and we can't do any of these things. If you kill citizens at this enormous rate and never give any hope to those Palestinians and they go, huh, they should know that they're defeated. They should know that they are gonna stay occupied for the rest of time because they're savages, savages. They can't ever have peace. They're always doing violence. We're gonna occupy them for another 50 Again, years. Again, they're not occupied and the savages are the leadership that is holding them hostage, the Palestinian people But you know what, hostage. Israeli leadership are also savages. And at this point, they've been seven times as savage as Hamas. Which if I'm an Israeli citizen, I'm sickened by that fact. The numbers are horrible and it's in self-defense and you know that's a difference. Self you know that's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. There was so much more to this story, we don't have time to get to it. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about a heated exchange between the Sink the jink of the Young Turks and Ben Glebe. Amazing, folks. 
I, I thought Senk was going <laughs> to burst a blood vessel there. You could see the veins bulging in his neck, in his forehead. I mean, he was absolutely, that was classic Senk, the jank. That was classic. Now, this is the first time that I've ever um, seen, you know, Ben on TYT. I guess he's a comedian and he sort of has his own show and he's part of the network. And he was going toe to toe with, you know, Sank on everything because Sank was just, I mean, barraging with just that emotional fervor that he just brings to the table. Or sometimes I think his emotion overrides his commentary. And so he, all he's basically saying is, is that, yes, he's, he, okay, he has demonstrated the fact that he absolutely despises, does not like Hamas. This is coming from Senk himself. He's also basically said on the show and other places, yes, Hamas, I don't like you. Nobody wants you. You know, return the hostages surrender but are they going to listen to him no they're not going to listen they're not going to listen to anybody but at the same time with that same veracity that he comes after hamas he used that same veracity to go after israel to basically say they need to get so the question is going to be is you're asking who's going to give up first neither neither of them are and what Ben is basically saying is Israel has the right to defend itself. There's going to be collateral damage. They've got to continue doing this thing. And he's talking about the occupation, that what would happen. Now, his thing about Texas, yes, that rings true, except for one fact. The people of Texas are armed to the teeth. They have something to fight back against. It could never happen there. But what happened when Hamas came in? All the weapons confiscated. Nothing. What are the Palestinians going to do? Fight back with rocks? You've got to understand that, yeah, it sounded really good. Yeah, what would Texas do? Texas would just rob the hell out of them. They'd do everything. They'd drive, those, they'd drive those occupiers right out of the land if they could. Yes, if they ever got a foothold there in the first place. They say Hamas was democratically elected, allegedly. 18 years, no elections. When they did come to power, what did they do? Threw a bunch of their opposition off the roofs of homes. The rest of them shot them in the back of the head as they ran and fled. The lucky ones were beaten and jailed, basically. So, you know what? It's just one of the things, but this was just absolutely a classic brouhaha between two hosts with completely different opinions, which is so great to see, obviously, because we're allowed to have our opinions and, you know, basically put them out there on the table. Appreciate you taking a listen and a watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we've earned your subscription. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love for you to do that. Like, share, and follow us. You know what to do. Final thought, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.